open up the playpen. Ha 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 ha! We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah, Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God. They got these, they get these, what they call ringworms in their head. Oh, my God. And the, talk about lice. Oh, my God. And the women are just, they, oh, God, no. I was like, I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know. Oh. Yeah, I had one of them. We've had somebody take parts off of it since it's been sitting there. Oh. Yeah, I, they better be watching it. I catch anybody out here, I'm going to shoot them. He just bought a grill, and I, I think the grill. All right, you guys, this is our last one that we're going to do like this. The next ones are going to be his reviews to Mako because there's a couple of them I want to do. So they're going to do this one, and then those start doing those because there's only like four. I think we did two last night. We'll so. do the Fast Silent Scarlet maybe tomorrow night. Yeah, because I got some other YouTube channels that I want to watch, you know, catch up on actual car content. And, and uh, yeah, but we're going to get into this one. Now, this one, Barry claims that in 2005, he got in a bad wreck. Well, Barry, don't you think in 2005 you'll learn how to roll with the punches? <laughs> uh, you see, you probably know how to roll with the punches. This punk ass bitch, his whole life, he's learned to roll with the punches. He could probably oh. take a punch back in the day. I mean, you just had his ass kicked a whole bunch. Hey, Barry, did you roll that bike 20 or 30 times? <laughs> Especially him running the bars back in the day. Oh, I oh. promise he's had his ass kicked quite a few fucking times. <laughs> Which is no shame in that, but... I mean, don't come out like you're invincible. <laughs> I mean, you're five foot fucking tall talking about I'm invincible. Which I, once again, I know a dude that is probably about five foot tall. And he's a, got the fastest hands I've ever seen in my life. I ain't seen a dude in years, but. And I seen him hit a dude my size one time and it made the loudest crack I ever heard. And that dude just folded like a sack of potatoes on the floor just laid there. Hey, Barry, I bet the look on your face when you fucking hit that car and you slid down the fucking door of it was priceless. <laughs> Yellow bug. Hey Barry, <laughs> did the car just come out of nowhere? <laughs> Whose fault was it, Barry? Did you get sued or did you sue him? Which one is it? Inquiring minds want to know. Hey Barry, has your reaction time got any better? <laughs> it's starting to look like you're looking for accidents to sue people. Is what it's starting to look like. <laughs> fucking Barry, get Barry's laying there. It looks like a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon bike just rolled around his head. <laughs> I promise, he's the type of motherfucker. If you pull out in front of him and he keeps you too close, he speeds up. He don't hit the brakes. He hits the gas because he's thinking you're pulled out in front of me. I'm getting paid. Wow. He don't give a fuck. He kills a whole carload of motherfucking family and shit. As long as he thinks you don't get paid. Hi <laughs> guys, welcome back. Look at this. It is the season. You Look at the daylight on the side of the door. door. Keep the cold air from coming in under. I mean, we're not putting a rug around it. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the gap. You ever heard of weather stripping bag? It's actually not too bad right now. So I don't know how this car's gonna have it. What it was <laughs> early this morning, but <clears throat> we're not uh, not feeling too good today, guys. So we're probably not gonna make uh, any action videos or the next bother us from. Hey Barry, I had a question. Was it solar eclipse this time too? And I want to point out, if anybody's ever watched a bunch of Demer videos, like just his regular videos, have you ever heard him talk about is this wreck before and his neck causing him problems from it? I mean, as much as this cocksucker whines about everything, this is the first and last you hear this shit. I just wonder if it's solar eclipse is making him bug and act up. You know that solar eclipse, that, that fucking gamma radiation. <laughs> It can't be that, that you're fucking, you smoke five packs of fucking Lucky Strikes the night before from jamming on PlayStation all night. He wants to, he, he wants the original Credible Hulk and talking about gamma radiation. Uh, <laughs> motherfucker found out Mako was his kryptonite. <laughs> That's going to be my next theme song, guys. Stay tuned for that one. We're going to do an Incredible Hulk themed fucking theme song of this motherfucker. Motorcycle wreck with the old yellow bug. Some idiot, oh god, it was 2005, I think it was, 
you know, 2005, 2006, I think it was 2005, ran me over on my motorcycle and put me down on the ground and this car on top of me in the yellow bug. Hold on a minute, hold on. Ain't the yellow bug at Suzuki in the house? Yeah. Now, folks, okay, bullshit, Barry. So they ran you physically over in the motorcycle, but you still have the motorcycle which is pristine in your basement. That's what I mean, man. This motherfucker is, he probably... He probably fell off the bike at the bar drunk, <laughs> talking about he got ran over. I mean, you got you can't. Man, they ran him. Uh, they ran man. him over, and he got up and walked away. Yeah, that's possible, but the motorcycle ain't metal. Don't just heal. Metal bends. He said they ran him yeah. over on the yellow bug, which is in the house. Yeah, this was twenty years ago. You know, Beamer's an expert mechanic. I mean, he probably rebuilt right, it. There you go. <laughs> if you guys see this bike, I mean, it's a nice little Suzuki. Hey, hold on a minute. It's clean. This bike ain't been ran over. I mean, it might have been laid down or something, but ran the fuck over. Had had 2,500 pounds crushing it, but it's just all good to go straight. Hey, Barry, so you bought it new, right? Because your title of what this Suzuki is, it's a 2001 Suzuki DR, DRZ 400. So, 2005, it'd still be, what, two years old? It'd be new, brand new. So, you bought it new, Barry? Or did your mom buy it for you? I bet your mom bought it for you. So, we're not feeling <laughs> chipper today, but we're feeling good enough to come out here and show this great car of ours. See, we're feeling chipper enough for show and tell, folks. And there's still there. there. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I gave 20 bucks for these tires, so... At least when, you know, when Frostburger says it, they, they actually did worth, something uh, decent. Well spent. Saying. Money worth money well spent. You don't even know what the definition uh, of winning is. She had a flat on the right rear. Barry, right, show us the DOT number. And they kept or, no, the left rear. They kept going flat no matter what I did. And I aired it up and flat again, aired up flat, you know. So. Because, listen, folks, tires. It couldn't have a pinhole in that rest yeah. of the rim, could it? I mean, is there a chunk of aluminum inside of it, too? What did I, what didn't they put a tires that, we, that put tires on the rims for the dark? Oh, that was like 70, 78, maybe? Se 75. I'll show them to you guys tomorrow. They're old bias supplies. They're from the 70s. They, the color of the tire. They good as hell. Yeah, but when you press on them or you push on them, you can see the cracks. No tires are made, like fucking Scrapper Mel said. No tires are made to just sit forever and expect them to look like they came off not, a fucking shelf at Walmart. Not through heat cycles and shit. Hell, even someone that's sitting like a climate controlled shop for 20 years weather crap. Now, with that being said, am I fully against using used tires? No. But if you. Oh, not. We're broke. <laughs> <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to sell them exact tires from the 1970s. Some of them buy them because some of them need tires. Some of them like Barry. Some of them need tires that hold air for a roller. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we won't tell them. We won't be like, hey, these are new tires. Yeah. Put these on your jack car and run it at 120 miles an hour. Came out of the poor man's speed shop fucking tire section when we had I'm our shop. hurt somebody or rip somebody <laughs> off, man. I mean, Jesus. I'm the most honest. It almost says I'm the most honest seller. If I don't know something works, I make it crystal clear. Hey, I don't know what shape it's in. Buy it or not. Honest people don't brag about being honest. Well, I'm dishonest and I'm very dishonest. <laughs> I'm buried. Had to bust your balls, man. 20 bucks. Can't help I'm going to shoot you in the fucking face just so you know. Some, you know, use tires. Right that are, we're going to be with your mom, man. You know, you're yeah. going to be able to uh, She's gonna be mad as hell, so keep the old car from sitting down in the dirt. <laughs> and we love it. We put these off the mock on the front. But those are the... They're real tall, like uh, and then, my buddy Jeff at... Uh, I mean, why don't somebody go ask Barry, and I bet you get blocked, but just ask you, what's the point of putting new tires on the car, Barry? I mean, are you going to drive it down the road? Is that because you're ready to plate it? I mean, what's the point? Okay, like them, them rims I'm going to fill in the dark. They look, they're torque test knockouts, but one's Mickey Thompson and one's some kind of other brand. The only way, the only difference that I can physically see is the center, where your center cap is on. But I'm not putting Craigers on the front and dog dishes on the fucking back. That, that doesn't make any sense. They don't even look the same. Not even from a glimpse are you going to be like, ah, those look the same. Listen, normally when people put mismatch rims on a car, they do it side for side. That you, you can't see both sides of the car at the same time. So if the rims are close, nobody's ever going to notice the difference. You know what I mean? You don't want front, front and back different on the same side. I mean, if it matters to you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's all preference. It's, it's just all opinion and conjecture anyway. It does, none of it matters. I mean... 
it's they don't tall. Tall. Yeah, they are. They're real tall. But in any other car I got, they wouldn't have fit it on us. But Christine, it's got those wild quarter panels on hey, it. Barry, you better get Christine looked at. She ain't healed us so good anymore. Seven hundred dollars a piece, folks. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I thought they were seventeen hundred dollars a piece. They're not. They're not mild. They're friendly. They're junk, Barry. They wave at they're you. It's a friendly car. Sixty-year-old fiberglass that has been hacked the back here somehow. I mean, how are you planning to, to uh, secure that? Supposedly, folks, this, this man sorry, drove this car all over the place like this. His words, not mine. That one's on the inside of the bumper. Mm -hmm. No, it's just cut short. What do you think would happen if yeah, you really drove that car down the road at 60 miles an hour, even 40 miles an hour? Here, really probably. Long. Don't you think that fiberglass would crack, stress crack, crack on wherever it. it's yep. flapping at? You can see it. Got that little indent. And they cut it. Yeah, they, it's definitely been cut. That says it's been cut. Supposedly oh. the head NASCAR mechanic okay. did all that, folks. We could do fiberglass work around here. We can do a lot of Kenny Bernstein, you know, head mechanic. Yeah. Is that what we're a head mechanic for NASCAR would do so far? We could kill Russ. We could run a chalk line. And he had to sell the brakes. We could stay until dawn. We could stay until dawn. We could stay until dawn. And you can't keep a country boy. Barry. You're not no fucking country boy. Shut the fuck You're up. You're about as country as my toenail, Barry. I mean, we've seen where you grew up at and everything else. Hey, Barry, I got a question for you. When was the last time you went hunting, fishing, mudding, off-roading, fucking having a bonfire? Hey, hey, hey man. He went dirt bike riding in his fucking yard the other day. Mm. I mean, he he was getting some mad air on that blaster, dude. I mean, I was worried Get about down. him. I thought, I I thought he had... Boy. You can't keep um, me down. Fab not a country boy. You know, I thought he had found up some wings on that blaster. Pain pain so right he's gonna take off and show us how to fly. Me less, less I talk. You went. You went. You, went, you are chemistry. fucking <laughs> as country as some a city boy with a fucking pain, dually. You know? That's jacked up. Yeah, some good doctors. So. Oh no, no, better than that. A big dually that slammed to the fucking ground. The way Christine turned out, so. Hopefully we'll get on something else. Well, wrong. I, I would love. Enough, I would tomorrow. love to take Barry Coyote hunting. I got some stuff coming up. I would I gotta love it. For he could be the dude who goes out and puts a call down. Uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas, everybody. If we don't see you before Christmas, what's the shit you had to Merry do for Christmas your friends? Merry Christmas and a happy New Year to all our subscribers and friends out there. Check out my friends. Hey, look, Barry, it's all your Mark. friends. Check out my. Buddy, oh, they're Jamie not there. Bumps. Check his channel out, guys. He's cool. Stanford, Kentucky. Got all kinds of cool stuff going on, man. He's got a big junkyard. Him and a couple of his guys working for him. They're out there firing these things up, driving around the junkyard. That's my point. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> he just does some cool stuff, man. Because my buddy James the cars run. Actions, auto, parts. Most cars are run. Check him out for Scott Speed Shop. Check out his channel. Jeff at 2X Garage. Check out his channel. We like this uh, Metal Scrapper Kingdom. Check his channel out. We like him too. So, uh, look at that. We're gonna that we don't give a fuck. We'll fix it. We need to use them. Two thirty-five sixties. That is the one car he should be like kid gloves with. You know what I mean? We're the only the car there. Better that today. he should be kid gloves. Yeah, the only type people he's got kid gloves for are kids. I'm gonna do. Right. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna here. make it. You know, but how to make it? You know, like Baby Ruth. Rocky <laughs> Row? Hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, Barry, you want to look for fucking pirate treasure sure. later? <laughs> I guarantee he's all about that young booty. Got some 185 14s. Got some 205 uh, 70 14s. Don't you fucking even ask so before it goes any further. None of that shit for sale. Put these two here and there. So that's his tires. fucking legacy. His son's so out of the 12, oh, yes. and that's God's we're down to uh, that's fact. eight. So we put on four. Yeah. Holy four shit. Four of these eight, so. Out of 12 tires, you put on four. So we'll get to that. Winning. I thought he was talking about his weight. And you guys uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back. Check out our friends. I mean, look. Look at that shit. And like I said, Happy New Year and Happy Christmas, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm front yards with all these fucking cars. I mean, this there's motherfucker. My, I mean, there's my girl. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye bye. Can you imagine? I got. I got. I got to say something. My final thoughts. Are you capable of thought now? Can you imagine if he lived here in Staunton, how Andy would feel? Uh, he was a board member. He would make it.
I mean, we're, 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 I mean, <laughs> I mean. Andy, you have a marshal down there fucking every day. I mean, it's, yeah, shit. I mean, I work on cars, so all the cars out front ain't mine. I'm waiting on parts for this one, parts for that one, I mean. I mean, it's how petty, dude, our town board member usually is. Hasn't bugged us in two years, thank God. Knock on. But he, when we first moved in, there was a fucking blazer top sitting over in a abandoned house. They went over and tagged it. Tagged it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and <laughs> understand this, there is no code enforcement around here. So them with the tags in their hand is bullshit anyway. I mean, They try to adopt a state statute. For... End up having to get people end up having to get the state cop out here and get that shit took away from them because, like the state cop said, are you gonna put are you gonna put an engineer on staff to have a code enforcement officer because in order to have code enforcement you have to have an engineer, you know what I mean, to tell you you know if it's correct code or not. I mean, it's just a, it's a long story. It just so we're gonna move on to the next one.